where she notices that she's being watched right here. And she kind of screams forward that she's not comfortable about being watched while she's eating. Lost no more, meet Jane. Just a teenager, Jane tips the scales at an impressive two tons. A lot of the texturing work that we do too, we actually paint and then scan in. Now meet the Ohio State students who bring Jane to life. They're part of OSU's Advanced Computing Center for Arts and Design. We'll go with ACAD for short. It took five years, but these guys were able to rediscover not only Jane, but also the mysterious world she lived in. They were able to find all the bones together, and they were able to find her as a youngling, and that was what made her so special. In fact, it sparked a debate that maybe she was a new species. Jane was found in Montana, mostly intact. Now her skeleton is at a museum in Rockford, Illinois. There's a lot of guesswork. While Jane's skeleton may have stood the test of time, Time, these 20 students needed some modern computers to create a home for this teen. It was really a great challenge for us to uh, create animation that was going to be seen by a wide range of ages. After we developed the model and the textures, they rigged the character and gave it the bones. And since we do have the skeleton, we have a pretty good guess of how the bones actually worked. Students sketched, scanned, took pictures, and discussed how to interpret the facts to bring Jane to life. Especially for one person, it's really tough to um, uh, do all the aspects of animation. Usually it's done in teams. Think about this. It would take one person a year to complete one minute of this animation. That's how good these guys are. The whole idea of all, all the effort that's put into it is to not show the effort. <laughs> and this work is getting noticed. These young Buckeyes are already fielding recruiting offers from some of the biggest names in movie magic, DreamWorks, Pixar, and Industrial Light and Magic. As for Jane, she's lost no more, thanks to the Ohio State students who brought her back to life. Bina Roy, Dayton's News Source.